We're talking about the cost of filling up at the pumps right now, and it varies from coast to coast. But drivers here in Vancouver are shelling out the most for gas this year. Yeah, time. a list released today comparing the average fuel prices shows Vancouver prices are at the top at an average of 1.34 per liter. Joining us now with more on this is the Manager of Community and Public Relations for Consolidated Credit Counseling Services of Canada, Jacob McDonald. Welcome to the program, Jacob. Hi guys, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so why are we paying so much more in Vancouver? You know, it's it's a political thing really. You guys have the most tax, quite simply. Uh, BC has one of the higher provincial taxes and uh, there's a little bit of double dipping going on with the drivers in Vancouver because you guys have a, a municipal tax there as well. So we were looking at Winnipeg has the cheapest price in the country at a dollar and four cents and trying to figure out if it'd be worth us to drive from Vancouver 2300 kilometers to Winnipeg on something that's got good kilometer per liter mileage. <laughs> I don't think You'd it will be. You'd have to do be, some number crunching. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. be a big equation. We're thinking about road trippers and, uh, you know, it might be a good idea to drive east or maybe south. But even when you look at, I mean, Vancouver in the metro area, if you go just a little bit outside uh, into the lower mainland, the prices drop significantly. So is it all tax related? Well, I mean, sometimes the retailers will charge what the market will bear. So if they feel like uh, drivers are going to pay. They might adjust the price accordingly. But I mean, in reality, that, that's why you guys are at the top of the list is the tax. Here's what I don't understand, though, Jacob. So. Um oil tank the price of oil tanked our gas prices dropped to around a dollar now oil is still low and now we're back up by 34 cents in a couple of months why is that i don't know if anyone really gets that one <laughs> uh oil is going down gas is going up it's uh they're going in two different directions and we haven't really seen that in in the last decade so i mean there's people blame the loony um, oil is priced in U.S. dollars, and, and our Canadian dollar just can't buy as much anymore. But I mean, I have the feeling that there's some bigger scale economic uh, issues at hand there that that uh, you know might take a while to sort themselves out. Uh, what kind of tips do you have for drivers, Jacob? How can we get the most bang for our buck when it comes to filling up our tanks? You know what you should do. A lot of people don't think about their tires. I don't know if you've ever driven on your bicycle. Uh, with flat tires or under inflation, engine is going through the same thing if your cars are like that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your, your tires are properly inflated. Uh, air conditioning is a big problem. Obviously, it's been a hot summer, so people are cranking that AC, but you want to make sure that you, you keep it at a lower level. Uh, interestingly enough, though, if you're, if you're on the highway, you're driving at high speeds, you, you're going to want to keep those windows up with the air conditioning going to uh, improve the aerodynamics of your car and cut down on uh, on drag there. So uh, there's a number of things. Slow down. Um, research out there shows that 93 kilometers an hour is like the wall that you that you hit, and it doesn't really matter what you're driving. 93 kilometers is the wall. So when you're trying to push beyond that that threshold, you're you're burning so much more gas. So. You know, you're on the road trip, you're, you're hitting the open road, you might want to, you know, experience a bit of freedom, but you should probably do so at wise speeds. Is there any silver lining to these gas prices, Jacob? How are we doing compared to a year ago? Compared to a year ago, and this might be cold comfort for, for everyone in Vancouver, uh, but we are doing better than last year. Granted, oil prices were uh, like double last year, um, but we are doing better. Across the country, we're seeing uh, price is about 10 to 20 cents lower. So if you're driving like uh, something with a 50 liter tank, like a Honda Civic, you're saving about eight to ten dollars every time you fill up. Hey, there's something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what about when you are filling up, Jacob, and you look at the three different grades of gasoline? Should we be going for the most expensive, for the middle, or for the cheapest? You know, everything has a, a premium version, no matter what you're buying, and and really you gotta you gotta do a, an informed decision on that, and and check your owner's manual. Really, really know your car. There's a chance that your car won't benefit at all from the from the premium gas. Maybe it will. So make sure you check your your manual. Do your research on that to see if it's money well spent or not. Jacob McDonald, Community and Public Relations for Consolidated Credit Counseling Services of Canada. Thanks so much for your time today, Jacob. Thank you.